For the final race of the season we travel to Austria to take part at the pinnacle of all races, the World Championships. The track builders did an insane job changing at least 50% of the whole course. Considering the weather forecast, things could get very interesting. Midnight, the sky opened up and it started pouring rain. Today's practice session is going to be awkward. The hour of puzzling and practice is over. I've managed to master all my lines. Now it's time for qualifying. Let's see where I stack up against the best of the world. Qualifying run was decent. I had a little bubble in the wood, but I kept it together down to the finish area. I came over the line in P25. I would have never expected this, and I was over the moon with the result. In the last two splits, I made up a bunch of time. So I had my work cut out for the top part of the course on Saturday's practice session. I left at least 10 pro riders behind me during qualifying, but things will heavily change up after Sunday's rainfall.
So here we are at the start hut. I'm going to talk you through my final run. So let's drop in. After the start you get into this newly built off camera section with a gradient of 45 degrees. I try to stay high to secure my grip while carrying good speed onto the road. I took the left line around the whoops to secure a good landing spot on the sloppy mud. Dropping into the blown out part of the course. Big ruts forming all over here. In the first split I was in 56th position. Deep down into here trying to use as much braking power as possible. Unfortunately, I didn't use enough and I overcooked the turn. It was very disappointing to go down on one of the easier sections of the circuit. My gloves, handlebars and brakes were covered in mud. Things were not heading my way. Here in the second split I was in 66th position. Here I'm trying to hit the sweet spot on every landing or trying to clear my gloves and grips. My right brake lever and shifter were bent to the fall earlier in the run. Shifting was going to be hard from now on. Crossing the third split, I was in 61st position. While my GoPro gets dirty, we are heading into the one of the sketchiest parts of the course. It's essential to take the right lines to avoid slippery roots and stumps. I took the right line heading into the bridge and then even more right followed by a full left line that I haven't seen anyone else take before. Oh. Now I'm trying to recover for the last bit of track but definitely not the least. It was key for me to really focus on these last two splits since I shaved off a bunch of seconds here during my qualifying run. Coming out of the woods clean would be the key for a good run. From now on I gave my all. My vision was getting worse while my heart rate was maxed out. I was definitely not happy with my performance at this time, but after seeing all the other riders struggle in the last part, I was not too bummed about my riding. Considering my P38 in the last split, it also means that I made it into the top 40 in my first Elite Man World Championships Finals. I'm definitely stoked to end the season with a personal best, so definitely some good notes to take off of the whole week. 
and my participation at the World Cups looks even brighter for 2021. I would like to thank all my sponsors for making this year possible. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support.